peace, peace, and happy now. <laughs> I had to do this video right quick because I was about to sit down and watch this movie and I wanted to, you know, really uh, break it down and retain the information. So it just made me, you know, gave me the urge to do a quick video because as soon as I sit down and start watching it, I grab some rosemary. I start smelling it. <laughs> And uh, rosemary, uh, in general, and rosemary all is good for for the memory. So you know, whenever you dealing with wanting to retain information, you know, rosemary. Matter of fact, putting it in the tea, something like that, is pretty good. And also working with this magnetic hematite. You know, matter of fact, uh, the hematite good for concentration, good for grounding, you know, but helps to, to ground us and, you know, uh, ground our energy within our body, you know, because just like a computer as above, so below we create computers just like us. <laughs> and uh, if a computer has too much electricity, oh, damn, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, hematite good for the grounding because I was going to do the comparison to the computers again like when a computer if it had too much electricity running through it you know you wouldn't be able to use it but because it's grounded because it has a certain level of electricity running through it you're able to work on it you know or like when you're uh, giving somebody a boost uh, you know with the cars with the automobiles <clears throat> excuse me and you you know hooking up the the red wire and then you could either put the other uh, negative wire on a on a negative part of the battery or just on the little quote unquote grounding part just you know anything that doesn't have a charge in essence you know so something that's you know grounding the energy you know and in that sense that like the hematite you know help grounding that information uh, Fluorite and pyrite is also two uh, two crystals that's good for that as well. And you know, it may be a few others, but that's the main two. Oh, and also, so I'm working with this hematite right now, onyx, black onyx, uh, rainbow obsidian, and. Uh, like working with, I did a video about it a while back, like when you're dealing with any type of uh, esoteric, occult, like alchemical type of, like, like, a, like matter of fact, like breaking down alchemical symbols and messages or, you know, uh, pictures, I want to say. Satellite, you know, the uh, crystal satellite basically is like uh, lapis lazuli without the pyrite in it. But uh, satellite, is a, a great stone for helping to break down these you know, deep subconscious symbols that be into like certain little movies or you know uh, certain literature you know or like you know tarot card pictures you know all these different things helps to uh, you know process the the symbologies again that hematite <laughs> And I made a video about the hematite and the coffee. <laughs> and, you know, uh, again, not to each his own, <laughs> but like the coffee causing the heartbeat to to kind of, you know, pace a little more rapidly, but it's also creating a certain type of uh, amplification to the magnetic field. So it's kind of like, bringing in a certain type of speedy process to the channeling abilities and the operation of the brain as well so it's kind of why too but on the energetic level 
and that uh, amplification of the electromagnetic uh, field and that magnetic pull. Rosemary. Only of the Mary. <laughs> Rosemary, but peace, happy now. Now the vibrate, of course. Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past.